how to install block strap well that's what i'm going to show you guys in this super quick and easy tutorial so if this video has helped you out please let me know in the comments or simply just leave a like so i actually know that this video has helped you out so let's just get started right away so once it is done downloading you just want to open up the .exe file so here it says you must install .NET desktop runtime from this uh, location and it says would you like to download it now so i'm going to click on yes and uh, this will bring you over to a, another website and this is a uh, microsoft website so for me it automatically started downloading uh, do not worry about that it's not a virus um, this is the official microsoft website and you need this uh like software or uh, driver in order for blocks strap to work so we have now downloaded this as well and i'm going to install this opening it up click on install over here click on yes and once again this is from the official microsoft website so do not worry about a thing and there we go we have now installed this so i'm going to click on close and i'm going to go back to the blockstrap.exe I'm going to click on there in order to open this up once this is opened up um this is pretty much what it will look like so here we have all of these integration and mods fast flags appearance behavior installation and everything so what is this all about well here um we can pretty much select all of these settings we would like to uh, enable or the mods for example and once you install this, then this um, is what you will have. So for example, enable activity tracking. If you enable this and then install it, you will from then on out start uh, track your activity. But if you disable this, then that will not work. So here we have a lot of options. This is mainly um, uh, optional, to be honest, like for example, uh, Discord here. But the most important part is the mods. So here we have a bunch of different mods. For example, the use old death sound. Uh, I actually really like that because, you know, that's just what the OG sound was when I used to play this uh, a while ago. Here we have the mouse cursor. It's currently set to default. We can change this to um, older versions as well. Here, 20, uh, 2006 and 2013. I use the old avatar editor background. That's up to you. Emulate old character sounds. So, an attempt to roughly bring back the character sounds used prior to 2014. You can enable that if you would like to. Emoji type is fine. Custom font is fine. And then we can go to the fast flags option. And here you have a bunch of different presets as well. So, here, for example, the preferred lighting technology. So, you can actually choose different type of lighting uh, technologies. Uh, this is kind of like shaders. Um, I guess here prefer to escape menu so you can choose older versions as well and there's just a bunch of different um, options now here we also have the fast flag editor now if you click on here it will give you a warning and it will give you an explanation about what this is so if you do not want to change this and you can go back or you can go to I know what I'm doing now what you can do with this is you can for example search on youtube block strap um, fast flags fps boost so you have a bunch of different uh, videos which will have a bunch of um, sort of like code or command which you can add over here in order to even boost your graphics and fps even better so but that is just up to you like it said uh, only do that once you know what you're doing so here we have the appearance so we can change that to whatever we would like to we can even change the icon if we would like to here we have the behavior and then the installation to uh, where it will be installed now once you are happy with everything you have done you simply just want to click on install and then um, it says after the installation has finished the box start menu will be registered as an application in the start menu if you ever need access to uh, it again to readjust your settings or access resources such as fast like management you can find it here so that is just pretty much yeah what we need so simply click on install and we'll just have to wait for this and i'll get back to you guys once this is done 
Once it is done, uh, Roblox will automatically open. And I'm simply just going to close this out. And over here, um, there is is. So if I now click on this, uh, it says starting Roblox. And via this way, you will actually um, open up Roblox. There we go. So that is how to install Blocks Strap.